is vitamin D deficiency associated with the risk of developing MS? Well, we see from various studies that low vitamin D levels, particularly below 30 um, nanomoles per liter, uh, are associated with increased risk for developing the disease. And patients with higher levels have lower risk both for developing the disease and also for showing decrease in inflammatory activity if they have MS and have higher blood levels. And it's felt that this has to do with the expression of certain genes which may be involved in the autoimmune response. The higher your vitamin D level, the lower the risk of the gene expression for the autoimmune response. And we have had studies now done with combination of vitamin D and certain disease-modifying therapies that are used in treating the disease. For example, the BENEFIT trial, which looked at interferon beta-1b in patients who had their uh, first expression of multiple sclerosis, it was shown that patients who had higher levels <coughs> of vitamin D and were also on interferon beta-1b, this slowed the disease course. Patients who had um, higher vitamin D levels had less disease activity than those who had lower levels of the 25-hydroxy D in, uh, when measured in the blood. And when the 25-hydroxy blood levels were equal to or above the 50 nanomole per liter threshold, the risk of getting a diagnosis of clinically definite MS decreased significantly. So that was very interesting. And uh, magnetic resonance imaging scans also in patients who had higher levels of 25-hydroxy-D showed less disease activity. In addition, the higher 25-hydroxy-D levels appear to add on to the benefit of the interferon beta-1b. And um, there was also a second study called the BEYOND study that looked at how patients who had been diagnosed with relapsing remitting MS uh, responded to interferon beta-1b treatment. And patients in this study, it was a global study, patients were uh, in the study from Western and Eastern Europe, from North America and the Southern Hemisphere. In this trial, the 25-hydroxy levels were lowest in patients who lived in Eastern Europe and higher in patients from sunnier regions like Australia and uh, Brazil and certain parts of North America. S this was expected because the vitamin D levels in the sunnier climates were, were higher. And uh, investigators of the BEYOND study found that patients who had the higher vitamin D levels had less signs of disease activity than the patients who had lower levels. So this was also interesting finding showing the benefit of the higher levels of vitamin D in patients with MS. Are vitamin D levels a predictor of MS activity and progression? Well, since uh, many gene studies have shown that vitamin D regulates genes that um, are involved in the immune system response and the autoimmune response that we see particularly for MS, um, these are associated with a decrease in MS disease activity. So higher vitamin D levels are associated with a decrease in MS disease activity. And um, the effects of the 25-hydroxy-D on MS activity were enhanced further by the interferon beta-1b in these two particular trials that we talked about. How does vitamin D influence MS disease activity in terms of genes and the immune system? Gene studies have shown that vitamin D regulates genes that have roles in the immune system and that are associated with a decrease in MS disease activity. So the higher the vitamin D level, the lower the expression of the genes that might be involved in that autoimmune response. The lower the level, the greater the expression of those genes that can influence autoimmune activity. So that's why it's so important to monitor vitamin D levels and supplement to make sure that levels are in the appropriate range. How is vitamin D important in the treatment of MS with interferon beta-1b? We know from various studies that higher levels of vitamin D can play an important role in decreasing the inflammatory activity that's seen in MS. 
both on decreasing inflammatory activity on MRI, helping in decreasing relapse rates, and also in slowing the disease course. And in combination with interferon beta 1b, as we've seen with studies like Benefit and beyond, patients who have higher vitamin D levels do better in combination with interferon beta 1b. Um, and um, we've seen that in a separate gene analysis, genes predisposing people to vitamin D deficiency were also found, and a risk score was derived from the cumulative number of risk genes a patient had, where a higher risk score indicated a greater chance of being 25-hydroxy-D deficient. So these patients also uh, would we, this could be a signal that we need to increase vitamin D in these patients. What does this mean for people living with MS? What are the implications of vitamin D monitoring and supplementation? We, we know that in supplements and in fortified foods, vitamin D is available in two forms, D2, ergocalciferol, and D3, cholecalciferol. The safety and efficacy of adding the vitamin D3 to interfere on beta 1b treatment was explored in uh, a study of 66 patients with MS. Vitamin D3 add on treatment to interfere on beta 1b reduced the disease activity on MRI scans. And in a study of 178 patients with clinically definite MS, interferon beta therapy was associated with greater production of vitamin D from sun exposure. So this illustrates how important it is to monitor blood levels in patients with MS and making sure that their level is within the appropriate range in order to achieve the, the maximal uh, anti-inflammatory benefit. Can you use interferon beta 1b with vitamin D? Yes. Many, uh, several of the studies, as we've discussed, the um, BEYOND study, the BENEFIT trial, show that patients who have higher vitamin D levels while on interferon beta 1b do better. So this speaks to an added benefit of vitamin D along with interferon beta 1b and also the safety of taking both interferon beta 1b and vitamin D. Are there ongoing studies that will help us better understand the effect of vitamin D in MS? There are ongoing studies in supplementing with vitamin D in multiple sclerosis, both uh, on its own and also in combination with therapies like interferon beta 1b. And if these studies continue to show beneficial effects of the vitamin D supplementation, then it really is standard practice for patients with MS to be monitored for their vitamin D levels and supplemented accordingly.